All right, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I'm driving a 1973 Volkswagen bus. Behind me is a two liter flat four. Down below is a four speed manual transmission. Guys, I'm super excited to be driving the Volkswagen bus because this is my first experience doing so. And this vehicle has a couple interesting things about it. First of all, this is actually a German Volkswagen bus. It was imported here in the 1980s as well as it is the full camper. So we will be going through that a little bit later on. But let's get back to that two liter flat four. It's actually not the stock engine for this particular bus. They normally came with 1.7 liter flat fours, but they're all air cooled. This bus is making around 85 to 100. Who's to really say? It hasn't been on a dyno. It's enough to get the thing going. So it was very common for Volkswagens of the time to have air cooled flat fours. What air cooled means is the fact that there's no radiator in this vehicle. It has cooling fins and a cooling fan to keep it cool. And overheating really wasn't an issue. It's an older style of engine, but this is an air cooled bus, which I think is super, super cool. All right. Acceleration test. Nice. Now, like I said, paired to it is a four speed manual transmission. It shifts nice and easy. It's not too daunting to drive. However, the pedals have a lot of movement. Of course, the shifter is super, super tall, and this van actually was originally automatic. It was converted to manual. So originally it was a three-speed automatic. Now it does have the proper four-speed, but that is why you'll see the automatic shift pattern up on the dashboard when we look at that a little bit later on. And last but not least, the van is rear-wheel drive. There is a transaxle in the back. So let's talk about the interior. We have a lot to go through. That's sort of the cool part of this van. So in front of me, I have two little gauge pods. On the left is my fuel and warning lights. And then in the center, I do get a speedometer. On the far right, there would be a clock here if you optioned it, but this van does not have that option. The steering wheel doesn't have anything on it and it is massively huge. This is truly a bus steering wheel. To the left of me, I have my lights, pull it out, very 70s. I think every 70s car I've ever driven has the same sort of style. And then on the door, I have my crank and my door handle, which the door handles feel amazing. They're super nice to feel. They have that nice, satisfying German clunk that I absolutely love. To the right of the gauges, I actually do have my heating and air conditioning options. Well, by air conditioning, I mean there's just vents on the outside of the bus that just let air in. These actually did not come with air conditioning. Some dealers would install them, but from the factory, there wasn't any AC in the vans. Down below that, I have my interior light, <laughs> my hazard switches, and then a temperature timer. So if you got a kerosene heater in the back of the camper, you could actually put it on a timer, which is super, super cool. Moving into the center, we do have a aftermarket radio, of course, and then two aftermarket gauges for temperature and oil pressure. Of course, things you would want to keep your eye on. And then, like I said, there's that automatic shift pattern because this used to be automatic. And we have our parking brake down below. Then I do get a nice glove box. And overall, just the size up here, it, 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 there's so much space up here. I feel like I could tap dance where I'm sitting. Like the pedals are like not the whole foot space. I can sit here very, very comfortably spread out. Now the seats are very, very comfortable. These are the original seats. And honestly, I wouldn't mind these on a road trip. Just like the Carmen Ghia that I drove, it's a very comfortable, very easy to drive car. It's not that challenging. And I really, really like that. Now we will hop in the back. We'll talk about the camper, which is like the creme de la creme, the whole reason why you buy one of these vans. All right, so here's the back of the camper. I'm actually sitting away from that's Colin. Hi, Colin. Yeah. <laughs> he owns the bus. Thank you. Um, so there's a bunch of stuff back here. We have storage down here. This actually will fold flat into a bed, which is awesome. We have these nice pillows as well. I'll try to sort of stand up here. Oh. Yeah. This folds out into a sink. You fill the reservoir right here. You can actually have onboard water. You pump it. Very, very cool there. And then this folds up. Storage down here. You have a nice little closet here very very cool there's a little side table that flips out right there which is super nice it's really raining right now so i'm not gonna do that but 
Then you have this little jump seat, you have a table that'll pop up, and then actually up above my head, there is the pop-up camper. So this is actually a sort of canvas cot, so someone can sleep up here, and then you could pop this top all the way up, give you some standing room, and just make the bus not feel so cramped, which is so, so cool. And of course, you could tell that this was a German vehicle by all the German written here. Of course, English at the bottom. It is a 70s vehicle, so ashtrays all over the place. These roll right here oh. and open up like that. And that's that's a camper window. Oh, so. cool. As the owner just showed me, it actually has these camper style windows that were part of the camper trim, known as the Westphalia later on. But this is technically a Westphalia, sort of whatever. Volkswagen people can get mad in the comments. But you actually tilt them out with this little dial here. And then you can, the rain isn't coming in and I have this bug netting. So then I can sleep in here, nice cool night. You know, I don't have to keep the vehicle running, anything like that. That's a really cool feature and part of the camper trim level, like I just said. Very, very cool. This thing is very, very livable in here. I mean, look at all the storage you have, the room. I mean, we're just hanging out back here. We do have power hookups as well. Very, very cool. And then you have this back space as well. Now we gotta talk about the looks. And guys, it's a Volkswagen bus. It looks amazing. I love the orange color. It has a little bit of patina, but I think that just gives it character. This car started life in Germany and then was shipped over here. This has seen a life's worth of memories. Yes, this car is shaped like a brick. However, it does have a lower drag coefficient than a Jaguar E-Type. So I found that pretty interesting. This actually has a lower drag coefficient than a Jaguar E-Type, which is like renowned as like a super aerodynamic vehicle. Overall, I have to say that driving and experiencing a Volkswagen bus is a lot easier and a lot less daunting than I thought. I thought it was going to be this big sort of task. You know, it's an older car. It's this big bus. It's a brick of an automobile. And yet the controls are nice and easy. The steering is a little heavy because there's no power steering, but like, you know, that's all old cars. It's really, really fun, and it just puts a smile on your face. Yes, you're gonna do five under the speed limit pretty much everywhere you go, but you're gonna be happy and smiling the entire way. And everyone looks at you, and everyone waves, everyone has a good memory with a Volkswagen bus, and it's just this jolly machine. I love these old Volkswagens. And it makes sense, because Volkswagen literally translates in German to the car of the people. Anyone can drive this, as long as you know how to drive stick shift, and you learn a couple little quirks, you're good to go. And the camper back, it's just so cool. I never realized that these cars came fully equipped for camping. You could get them without all the stuff in the back, but if you bought the trim level that had all the stuff, it's ready to go. Just get your family, get your friends, and just go have a good time. Guys, you have to get out and drive a bus. Find someone with a bus and go beg them because it's just such a fun driving experience. You're in such an iconic vehicle. It's like driving a movie star. It's, it's such an incredible feeling, and it's just all for fun. This is not a serious vehicle. This isn't a vehicle that you show up to a red carpet in and have the paparazzi take your picture. This is just for the good times. That's literally what this vehicle was meant to do. It's not supposed to be good on gas and get you to work on time. It's just supposed to be about fun, and that's exactly what this bus does. And it's what it is. It's so much fun. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to Colin and his dad for letting me take out this Volkswagen bus. It's such a joy. I'm so glad I get to knock this off my bucket list because this is just, this is a once in a lifetime sort of experience and I'm glad I got to do it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video and subscribe if you really like to. Take care guys. Mm -hmm.